Hey you guys, I'm posting right now to tell you what's in my bag. Um, basically, this is just a quick um, video about what I carry in my face painting kit. Um, and I'm just kind of sharing, I don't know, some of you out there are like, it's obvious, uh, face paints and wipes and water. But um, I have a few more things and you never know, I get a lot of um, questions from actual face painters like, where did you find that? How did you get that? Um, and some of my answers are like Dollar Tree store and people don't think of that. So anyway, um, I'm going to share what's in my face painting kit. Um, to start off, I have my little laptop cases as they call them. Um, I, you can get them from like Silly Farm and different stuff, but I do what Lisa Joy Young does. If you don't know her, check her out. Um, I take out my uh, styrofoam and it just makes more room when they put the styrofoam in there at the bottom with the circles cut out or the little rectangles it just takes up room that could be used later so she was really right to do that i was afraid to do it i took it out and i couldn't have made a better choice so um she had an idea to spray paint the top of these and they're easier to clean than when it's like matted so if you get like a, a satin finish or something you can spray these um you can find them at sillyfarm.com or you can go on Amazon and type in um, face painting cases or laptop cases. Because um, this one's uh, however you want to pronounce it, but Krylon. And um, this one comes with a mirror, so if you're tired of your mirrors breaking, you can just show this to the kids if it's on your table. Look, there you guys are. You're in the thing. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, I'm a total dork. Um, I've got three laptop cases. I've got two of the Krylon ones, which are much heavier and heavy duty which you really don't need them. They just look a little fancier. And I just had this brilliant idea the other day. I was going to go to the Goodwill and buy some sweet vinyl records and then place them on top so that when I'm at a party and closed, it looks like a little DJ thing with both of those sitting on each side. And then my rainbow one is in the black case. I feel like if my rainbow cakes are out and I say to a kid, what color do you want? They automatically say rainbow. And some designs I hate doing rainbow with, so I keep that one down below on my table. And then I use these guys with all my plain colors or split cakes. So um, just a cool idea if you get these metal ones to like hot glue or industrial glue, I guess I should say, um, some vinyl records on top just to add a cool little spin to it. Pun intended. I don't know what's like going on with me in air quotes tonight. Um, okay, so those are my paints, which eventually I'll talk to you guys about my paints. Um, then I have this little cooler thing, and it zips, and I put my water bucket in it. That way, when I am on my way to a gig, it's already filled with some water. If it falls, um, the majority of it will stay in this bag, and it's like a little cooler thing. So um, it's insulated, which means it doesn't have any holes, and the only place it can escape is the zipper if it spills and the zipper is um, I don't know it's pretty sealed tight so it doesn't get out much then um, pardon the fact that my label came off but this is um, face painting soap for when you're on the job and you need to sanitize you add it to the water and you can get this at sillyfarm.com or you can get it at just paint j-e-s-t-p-a-i-n-t dot com um, it's not, there's no way to sanitize, and I wish people would get this. Um, if they want me to add bleach to the water and then put it on their face, I can do that if you want, but you don't want that. So I try to explain to them, I take every precaution I can. This is all that we have available to us. Um, if I change my water out, it's going to turn brown or black before I know it. So they see dirty water, but as long as I tell them that soap is in there, they feel a little bit safer. So um, there's that. 99 cent store mirrors, okay? I buy like three of these, keep them all in my pack because if one breaks, I'll have another one. Um, I have, of course, antibacterial hand wa wash, whatever you call it, hand sanitizer. Um, these, uh, somebody made a tutorial, or not a tutorial, but um, posted on a forum not to leave these out because the more people see them, the more they want to use it. So this is just for me. I try to keep it in my bag or hidden behind my glitter box or something. Um, I have my page of major characters I do a lot. Um, no, I don't think it's right because they're licensed that you shouldn't be stealing people's characters. But um, 
when you're at a party and they want Angry Birds, you're not going to be like, no, I can't do it. It's a licensed character and I'm, sh I'm afraid you're going to share it. People do this all the time. So I always have my references ready to go. And then in my case, I have my, oh, something fell out. I have my insurance and my seller's permit and my business license. I have all my copies in here. So that way, if something happens, it's ready to go. So I just put it in a nice quick little case and it has all of my seller's permits in it. Um, so when I go on sub locations for farmers markets, it's readily available. Um, I have, this was a really cool gift we got at a face painting jam. Somebody gave us uh, the little storage case and filled it with bobby pins, hair ties, and um, little clips. And then I went back and bought more clips at the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree store or whatever you want to call it. And they're awesome because they're the little mini claw. And I can pull back just the bangs. Whereas with a hair band, I don't know about you guys, but they are kids. I don't know who's got lice. Um, so I don't want to be touching hair too much. These grab the hair so well and I just use my hand and clip it. Um, especially the little flyaways that irritate you when you're working. Um, then I have my um, Mama Clown glitter. And you can get Mama Clown, sillyfarm.com, and at Just Paint. Those are my two places. You can get them other places, I'm sure. Um, now, if sometimes these things break, these are my poofers. Kids crack up every time I say, I'm going to use my poofer on you. Um, I go to the art supply store, which we have art supply warehouse here. And I just buy the bottle and buy like the big bags of the Mama Clown and just keep refilling it with a funnel. And these are like 75 cents. I don't think they sell. No, they just started selling them at Michael's uh, Arts and Crafts. So just ask them where the little poofer bottles are. I'm already covered in glitter. Um, and I keep this little storage case with all my glitters. And then when I get there, I set them all up, you know, in order of how much I use certain colors. And that's it. Then I keep a few empty ones on hand in case something happens or the lid falls off and I can't find the lid. Whatever. Um, Dollar Tree Store water bottles. I buy like three of these little plastic ones. And the cool thing is it has a little switch so I can't spray it and it can't go off when I'm, you know, driving to my next place or whatever. Um, this has been really awesome find. Uh, what else? Paint brushes galore. I have so many paint brushes. Um, just because I never know where I'm going to be. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. And I'd rather have more paint brushes than go, okay, I've only got my five. How do I cover the entire face if I don't have a sponge or whatever? And I try to get really cool ones when I see them. Um, you know, to do petals and leaves. And my top brush that, like, I will find any reason to use this brush is so awesome. Most of you know about it. But um, I don't know. Let me see if I can see the name. Um, this one's an Aqualon Wisp 2935 by Royal, and it's 3 8 And it adds, like, the coolest textures and feathering and stuff. And I use it for my peacock feathers, which I'll be doing a tutorial on eventually. Um, but yeah, paintbrushes, paintbrushes. I don't like when, no offense if this is you, but for me, I couldn't do this. Um, you've got like 50 brushes on the table. Can't do it. I get my all different ones, which is like six specialty brushes, and then I get all my rounds. Then, um, I don't bring out five flat brushes. I just bring out like one medium size, one large, whatever. And it just keeps my table clean. I don't have to like try to figure out which one am I going to use, which one am I going to use, where is it, I can't see it. Um, I just think uh, less is more. So um, for those of you that do it, it works for you, but for me, it, it makes me insane to see 8 million brushes to go through. Um, which brings me to my next thing, brushes and sponges. Um, so I've been using these, hold on, I've been using these from art supply stores. They're so porous, it drives me crazy. It's like I do the splotches and there's all these giant gaps and stuff. So I switched over to the Snazaroo 10 pack, I think it is, on Silly Farm. It's like $10, which is like a dollar a sponge, and I cut them in half because they were a full circle. I love these. Now, Lisa Joy Young says that they're too soft, which, again, whatever suits you and works for you, great. But I love that these don't have 8 million giant holes in them. It's so um, dense that like I can get really good coverage really fast. And they're great at just blending. These ones are too harsh. And they tend to like, 
I don't know, hurt the kid's face. I feel like they're really dry and these are super soft. Um, just an FYI, the makeup sponges, the wedges, those aren't really meant for face painting. So some people like them, but if you've been doing that and you've never seen these before, awesome. And they're starting to come out with more like this. Like I think Wolf Brothers now has it, but these are Snazaroo. I don't use a lot of Snazaroo stuff, but those I use. Um, then at Michael's, you can get the round sponges. But recently, again, my girl, what? Lisa Joy Young, she talked about how these, you know, the glue starts coming off. Very smart. So she told us about Martha Stewart's um, line, and it's a sponge that fits into a case. That way I can, you know, use it on one kid. I don't go through round sponges a lot unless I'm doing spiders. But I can flip it and use it on the other side, and it's all plastic. So when I get home, I can wash this and the sponge, and I don't have to buy more of those disposable ones. So this is awesome to have in your kit, and it comes in all different sizes. You can see, like, I have one that size, littler ones. Those are a brilliant find. Um, and then I keep a second bag of my old sponges, which I always clean after a gig. And the last thing is... Um, baby wipes. Who doesn't need baby wipes? Um, I didn't realize that people make their lines, like if you're doing a butterfly wing, and then you do another one, and it's kind of too big, or it's messed up, they take the wipe with their finger and wipe it, and you can make whatever line in the paint you want on the edges. I think that is super cool, and ever since I saw someone do a tutorial on that, I was like, done. Baby wipes are my best friend, not just for wiping hands and cleaning off my table, but that. I also do airbrush tattooing, and I have found that rubbing alcohol takes all your paint stains off your table. Now, yes, face paint comes off easily with a baby wipe, but sometimes you'll, like, stain your table with a color rubbing alcohol on just a cotton sponge. I use that. It's awesome. And the last thing that I keep in my kit, um, or things, sorry, I, like, piled everything up, um, business cards and booking cards. So business cards, super cool. Check out the post before this. Um, it was about uh, the booking um, appointment maker cards, and those are for free at vistaprint.com. Um, but I think showing a little bit of your artwork on a business card is kind of smart um, because a lot of people don't know how to use the internet or websites, or they don't even have a computer. Shocking in 2000, almost 13. Um, scissors, you never know when you're going to need scissors, tape, a pen, pencil, whatever. And then these I use as numbers for kids when I have a smaller party and they've got a bounce house and a clown and a balloon person. Instead of saying wait in line the entire time and hope that we get to you within the couple hours that we're here, I give them a number and as long as they're listening, they get three calls. So I'll say, you know, calling number five, number five, it's your turn. Um, I'll usually call while I'm finishing up the person before. Or you can be like number five and six, get in the line, it's almost your turn. This allows the kids to go do other stuff and not have to come back to you. Some people paint the number on the kid and then wipe it off when they come. But the problem is, is that I have found with bounce houses and holding drinks with their arms, it comes off and then we lose it. These, yes, can fall off, but the odds of that aren't as high. If you put it, especially on their back, they forget about it. When it's on the front, they'll play with it. So just stick it on their back. Tell their parent, you know, know what number your kid is and just be listening. Um, doesn't really work at loud, loud, loud events or very large events, so don't even worry. But anyway, I have those two. I hope I didn't miss anything. That's pretty much my kit. And um, if you guys think of something else, leave a comment and let me know. Um, like, some people use Q-tips. I don't. Cotton swabs. I don't. But if they work for you, just post it underneath this video so it helps other people out. Um, that's it for now. Sorry this video was so long. And thanks so much for joining me. Take care and remember to visit www.laceyinc.com.